Hey, what, what do you know? What? I just got an email from Human Resources at Apex. I got that spot in their training program. Job starts a week after graduation. Kevin. Kevin! <laughs> Kevin, that is fantastic! Wow. Oh That's the gig you've been holding your breath over, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. God, I can't believe I actually got it. <laughs> I mean, there must have been hundreds of people competing for maybe a dozen spots. Heck yeah, and you crushed the competition. <laughs> Number one over thousands of applicants. No, I mean, I'm pretty sure it was only hundreds. Really. And for oh, all we know, I could have come in 12. No, I, I could have even no, come in 15. don't be so modest. Maybe some people don't turned it so down. Don't be so modest. Come on, not a chance. Hey, 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 hey. Everyone, everybody. Hey, Shh, you, dude. over there. My buddy Randy, here yo, is Keep it down. One. Randy, dial it back on, a little bit. I'm just bit, excited okay? for you. <sighs> it is pretty great, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, say it again. It's pretty great. <laughs> Okay, it's pretty great. Again. It's, it's pretty great. It's pretty it's pre- great. Yes, it's great. Okay, yeah. I know. I'll say. What, so that means you can do pretty much anything you want to do for the rest of the time you're here? No. You don't even have to worry about finding a job anymore like the rest well, of us. There's a matter of graduating. Oh, so what? So you got to show up just enough to pass your classes this semester and next. Other <laughs> no. than that, you coast your way to the finish line while I'm It would be nice <laughs> if that were the way things work, but it isn't like that in the corporate world. Companies like Apex, they have a history of keeping a close eye on their recruits during during my interviews, at least two people said something about pulling offers because a trainee tanked at the end of college. What? How does that make any sense? It makes plenty of sense. Just look at it from their perspective. They don't want the kind of people who would just mail it in, ever. Ugh, God, this is why I'm never going to work for a corporation. Well, media companies are corporations too, Randy. Well, yeah, but I would be the talent, you know, the guy on the radio or on a podcast who says whatever <laughs> jumps into his head. <laughs> they don't care if that guy mails it in as long as he delivers an audience. Well, you know, the guys that deliver audiences, they don't mail it in, right? Semantics, Kev. One man's mailing it in is another man's getting behind the mic with an epic hangover. <laughs> Speaking of which, don't plan to call me before, like, Three on Saturday. Alpha Gamma is having a total rager tomorrow night, and I am planning to be there for the duration. I would think so. After all, you're not the kind of guy who mails it in. Exactly. Hey, you know, uh, I might even do a little DJing. You know, they usually get our kind of crowd there. I am excited for you. You know, Randy. you could come with me. <laughs> We've had this conversation a few dozen times before. I know, I know, I know. I, but, you, I mean, you can't blame a guy for trying. And you know what they say about all work and no play. Willing to take my chances. Mm. So what are we going to do about the contest? You mean the Jesse thing? The involved in another contest? Yeah, the Jesse thing. You know, it's just so hard to think about Christmas and Christmas spirit when it's still months away. That's that's literally the point of this. Yeah, I mean, whatever. Hey, what if I get on the mic at the party tomorrow night, and before I start the music, I make a speech about everyone <laughs> loving one another and being better global <laughs> Sounds citizens? Sounds like an awful idea, Randy. Well, hey, if I get through to just one I person... You, you might be missing the point. Yes, and I think you're underestimating the impact I can have with the right PA system. You know, maybe... You know, if I could, if I play some like inspirational song right That's afterwards, definitely just really, like, not bring what the four home. of us talked about tonight. <sighs> okay, fine. And you're sure I can't just like steal something that the Cabral family already? One hundred percent certain about that. Then I got nothing. Is that the extent of thought you're putting into this? Well, it is for tonight. Great. Look, I'm not saying it's all the thought I'm ever going to put into it. Come on, Kev. You know how much Jesse means to me. I know. How much he means to all of us. Yeah, and I'm not going to screw that up. And you know that I never screw things up if I commit to not screwing up. No, I, I I know you won't screw up. Hey, thank you for saying that. Wait, what's your idea anyway? I thought we were supposed to keep things to ourselves until Christmas Eve. And... Oh my god, you don't have any <laughs> ideas either, do you? <laughs> uh, not one. No. <laughs> I had one, but it, it was so bad. My soul yanked it out of my brain, replaced it with episodes of last season of The Walking oh, Dead. Oh, wow. Your idea was so bad it was eaten by a zombie? <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah, it was. It really was that bad. All right, so guess that means I'm going to win this thing. <laughs> How'd you come to that conclusion? I mean, you've got nothing, and I'll bet you anything that Ava and Izzy, the stuff they come up with, it'll be sweet and all, but nowhere near Jesse level. Yeah, but you yourself have, like, no ideas whatsoever. Yes, right now. But we both know that at the end of the day, yeah, I pretty much won this thing already. Well, I'm glad you have the spirit of the contest down. Yep. There's going to be a real Christmas miracle around here. I can't wait. (laughs) 
you're enjoying this show, please subscribe to the Thursday Night Club on Apple Podcasts or wherever you download podcasts. And while you're there, be sure to share it with your family and friends. The Thursday Night Club stars Kurt Hugo Schneider as Kevin, Madeline Bailey as Ava, Ashley De La Rosa as Izzy, Noah Galvin as Randy, and Ariel Jacobs as Jesse. The Thursday Night Club was written by Lou Aronica and Stephen Manchester, based on the book by Stephen Manchester. It was directed by Mitchell Maxwell. Our sound designer and mixer was Dave Hart. For a complete list of show credits, visit our website at audiodramastudio.com. The Thursday Night Club is a production of the Audio Drama Initiative, copyright 2019. Hey, it's Lou with the Audio Drama Initiative. We hope you're loving the Thursday Night Club. And if you are, you might want to check out the original story on which it's based. You can find it in a book called The Thursday Night Club and Other Stories of Christmas Spirit, and you can get it wherever books are sold. In there, you'll not only find the original story by Stephen Manchester, but also two more of Steve's stories that will keep the Christmas spirit alive for you much, much longer. Get it now in paperback or ebook wherever you buy books.